Hello and welcome to another video and <laughs> always want to do that. Um, what's up guys, it's me Teo. Today's video is all about the legend himself, Matt Does Fitness. Now, if you don't know who Matt Does Fitness is, you probably don't have YouTube on your phone or you've never opened it or something's gone wrong because the man is all over the place. Um, he is killing it in the fitness industry at the moment and literally all over YouTube, just continuously making viral videos. So today we're going to live like Matt, so we're going to eat like Matt and we're going to train like Matt. Um, yeah, so Matt's pretty basic with his morning breakfast. Um, he just likes to have cereal. So yeah, he has this thing called Shreddies, um, which I'm assuming you can only get in the UK because yeah, I don't know where you'd find that in South Africa. So we've gone with all brand. Pretty basic, pretty tasteless as well. Not gonna be the most enjoyable breakfast, but anyway. And then we've gone with two scoops of whey. Um, so yeah, that's Matt's morning breakfast, nothing too fancy. Um, and then a little bit later on, we're gonna hit the gym. Um, we've got an interesting workout plan. Matt used to be a power lifter, so the theme of today's training is more along those lines. So it should be quite interesting. Um, yeah, we'll definitely, we'll hopefully hit some PRs today. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated as to when we do head to the gym. Um, I'm going to smash this boring, boring cereal and then um, see you guys later. Boom! Another transition. Um, so OG Matt used to love a monster, okay? He doesn't take any pre-workout. Um, he used to have white monster before workout. He's now moved to a different energy drink. Um, the company that he's working with but today I'm going OG Matt style um, and I'm gonna smash a white monster as a pre-workout now in terms of the workout okay I messaged my best friend Matt he then got back to me within like two seconds um, obviously because I'm a priority you know best friend vibes does he know <laughs> um, so he got back to me as soon as he could um, and he suggested a workout for us so like i said earlier matt used to be a power lifter so today's workout's going to be very different to what i'm used to okay um, he suggested that today we try a one rep max bench one rep max squat and one rep max deadlift now as far as power lifting is concerned i have never done that right i think i've tested my one rep max bench years ago it was pathetic um, I don't expect it to be much better today, um, but yeah, it's a very, very different workout to what I'm used to. Um, I do have a friend joining me today, so. There he is, the training partner for the day. Morning, morning. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> he needs no introduction. Woo! So we're in the gym at the moment. Uh, we decided we'd start with flat bench. I think that was a team consensus. Uh, we want to smash this first. Um, I don't know what Luke's hoping for, but I'm not expecting too much. Um, but yeah, we're going to smash this, we're going to warm up first, get a few warm-up sets in and then build our way to that one rep max and then hopefully hit some PRs. I don't know about you, you think you got a PR? I think I got a PR. I think you're going to get a PR. Okay. Here we go. Um, we've moved to 120. I think this is a PR for me. Um, I've never lifted this weight, so this is going to be very interesting. Hopefully, it moves relatively well. The 100 before this moved quite well, um, and I'm getting the breathing quite, like the technique, quite nicely. So, hopefully, this moves. Um, if not, it's not going to be on YouTube. You won't see this video again. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You'll see if I failed it or not, but yeah, I'm hoping for the best. So, yeah. let's see how it goes. Big push, big push, big push, big push, big push. Oh. Okay, so bench press done. Um, honestly, I was expecting a little bit worse i mean i was expecting to get over 100 because the other day um i was doing three sets of three with 100 um 
So I haven't tested my max bench in a while. Um, I did feel a little bit fatigued sooner than I thought I would. So yeah, I hit a PV of 110. Luke also hit a PV of 90. So that's quite dope. We actually both ended up getting a PV, which I'm quite ex like ecstatic about. We're now moving on to the squat, which is not either of our favorite <laughs> activity. Um, this is not gonna be good. I have a feeling my squat's gonna be just as good as my bench. <laughs> and I won't be surprised if it is. Um, so yeah, we're gonna warm up with a few uh, warm up sets and then board it to our one rep max. Okay, we are done with the kiddies weight. Uh, I'm kidding. Um, we are now moving to 120. Um, my PR with squats, I mean, I did it such a long time ago, probably 125, 130, so this should be interesting. Um, I'm hoping for a new PR. Uh, Lukey's PR, he spoke to me earlier, was 130 for two reps, so he's going for a 140. Um, if I get anywhere near that, I'll be very ecstatic, but here we go, here's a first attempt at 120. Good, easy, light work. Ladies and gentlemen, wish me luck. If my knees give in and I break my leg, I'm blaming Luke. <laughs> uh, but here we go, 120. <laughs> easy. Come on, Luki. Up, up, up. Yes. Yes, boy. Like a gun. Oh, awesome. Good. That one thing moved easy. You got this one for you. Big focus. Yes, man. As we are far exceeding our expectations of this <laughs> squat, okay? Um, I was expecting like 130. I think that's the last time I squatted was like 130, my rep, my one rep max, which is kind of pathetic, I know, but it's getting better, clearly. So I just did 140. Luke's also hit 140. We're both gonna try and hit a 150 now. Um, I will be lying if I said our legs aren't feeding it. But well, we're gonna try it anyway, so yeah, Luke's gonna hit the 150 now. He is gonna get it, I'm telling you he's gonna get it. And if he does, you have to like the video, you have to subscribe, and you have to turn on your post notifications. Okay, deal. Luke, don't fail me now, otherwise my YouTube channel is going down. Come on, boy. Do it for my YouTube channel. Come on, Luke. Come on, bud, you got it. Deep breath. Enough, get up. Ooh, yeah. So, unfortunately, that didn't happen, but he is going to get it, okay? I'm also gonna give the 150 a go. Um, you still have to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications, because you're here already. You might as well do it. Otherwise, you're wasting my time and your own time. Uh, but no, I'm kidding. Um, I'm gonna give the 150 a go as well. If I get this, I'll be very stoked because um, I was expecting a little bit more on the bench, like 110, to be honest. I'm happy, but not really happy. I was looking for 120, but yeah, uh, if we can make up for it on the squats, then that'll be okay as well. Let's go, let's go.
Okay, so we gave the squats a full go and we both settled at 140. I think the 150 moved, like it came down nicely, but I think we both got stuck at the bottom, would you say? And like the initial movement up, we weren't that great. So it could just be a build up of fatigue from all the reps that we did prior to the 150, but like it was kind of difficult. So we settled at 140, we'll take that for now. Not bad. Not bad. All right, so we're gonna move on to the deadlifts now. I think both Luke and I haven't deadlifted in a while. So Matt, please don't expect much. All right, so far we're doing okay. I think it's not too bad. All right, we definitely on strong men. We don't do powerlifting. So this is new to us, new to our training splits. Yeah, we train for aesthetics only. I was gonna say now, we don't do this we power lifting. Literally, we just train for looks, not for power, but like, <laughs> We're gonna give the, the deadlift a go. I think both of us are looking just to find our own PR. I don't yeah. I don't even remember the last time I deadlift, so uh, this should be interesting. Okay, Here's go. my best impersonation of Matt's uh, deadlift. So it's like this. And it goes like down like that. Pulls up. That's, <laughs> that's his best. So, uh, we're now moving to 120. I think now it's just going to be one reps all the way to our, our end goal, whatever that may be. Um, yeah, like I said, math sumo for me, not going to work, but, but I'll give this a go. I think 120 is not reaching my PR, but it's getting quite close. So I think hoping for 140, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Let's see if we can move this thing. Up good. Okay, so just to let you know, we have moved to 140. Okay, um, three plates look so cool on a bar, like whether it's on a squat, whether it's on the bench, whether it's on a deadlift platform, it looks so sick. So hopefully, we can move it. Um, the 120 before this move quite well, so let's hope we can get this done. So here we go. Yes, Luke's a 10. Get it off, yes boy! Now moving on to 160. We figured, you know what, we're not mat, we're not gonna be able to do 300 kilos, but we're at least gonna try and do half of what he does. So yeah, this is probably my PR for deadlifts. But like I said, yeah, I don't, I don't know how. I don't even know what my PR is. So. Right. So I mean, to be honest, I don't even do deadlifts that often to know what my PR is. But I'm pretty sure this is it. Um, it's moving quite well. To be fair, this might even move well as well. We might go to 180, but like, who knows? We, we're just playing, <laughs> we're just going around with it at the moment. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Luke's attempt at 160, here we go. Get it up! Yes! Well done. Nice. And we're back in the gym. Um, different sort of session for me. Um, I think for Luke as well, we definitely don't do the powerlifting sort of thing often. So to test our one rep max for all three exercises in one session was quite a bit. Um, I'm pretty sure Matt doesn't do those three exercises all in one session. Um, but I figured, you know what, if it's a day in the life of Matt does fitness, let's make sure we get all of it done. So yeah, big shout out to Luke. Thanks for joining me, bro. Um, but what we've got to go do now is go sort out lunch. And you know what that means if you're a Matt does fitness fan. Hello. Hi, uh, can I please have a large Big Mac meal? 
Uh, Coke Zero, please. But on the Big Mac, can it only have cheese and tomato sauce? No other sauce. No other stuff. Yeah. Just cheese and tomato sauce, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Boom. Okay. So, those of you that watch Matt's channel and are big fans would know that Matt loves a Big Mac. However, he likes it his own way, okay? So I've never done this to a Big Mac before in my life, right? Um, Matt has his Big Mac with just cheese and ketchup, okay? We obviously call it tomato sauce in South Africa. So this is gonna be the first time I'm trying this. It looks pretty plain and boring, but um, he raves about it and says that McDonald's should actually just change it. Um, I actually like the Big Mac sauce, so I'm interested to see how this goes. But yeah, if you didn't check the order in the previous clip, it's just a Big Mac meal, large, with... Oh god, that's a lot of chips. Uh, okay, going in the burger. I mean, it just tastes like a big cheeseburger. Like a double cheeseburger. You could just get that, man. But he, he seems to think that the roll is better on this burger. And the roll to burger ratio is better because there's more roll. I don't know. That's what he said the last time. But I do understand. It is really good. Um, oh my word. I forgot. <laughs> so I figured while I'm busy editing, we all know Matt loves a snack. Okay. Um, and while he's editing, he likes to go through them. So would it be a Matt does fitness video without Krispy Kremes? All right. So I'm going to smash this. I honestly don't know how Matt's physique is how it is because just eat thinking about eating this is making me bloated and making me feel fat already but i am gonna accompany my crispy greens with another shake um somehow i need to get the protein in but yeah while i'm busy editing i'm gonna smash these three crispy creams um, matt usually does a tray of 12 throughout the whole day i don't have his metabolism i'm not blessed with those genetics unfortunately um so yeah i'm gonna smash these three and then continue the editing um, and I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. Oh, man. To be honest with you, that started nice, but I could never. How's Matt, how do you eat 12 of these, bro? Like, how do you get through 12 of these? I actually can't, I can't even see myself coming close to doing that. Um, but yeah, smash this. Going to continue editing this video and I'll catch up with you guys later. Boom. All right, unlike Matt, I can't afford to eat a Domino's pieces after all the amount of calories that I had this afternoon in the donut and the Big Mac. Um, so I'm gonna make a homemade pizza. Matt loves pizza, okay? He usually goes with Domino's, like I said. Um, I'm doing homemade, so wrap base, killing half the calories. Um, and then I'll put some chicken on, some avo, um, a little bit of cheese, and obviously the sauce to go with it. But, yeah, that's gonna be supper for me. Uh, stick around. Matt obviously loves dessert. He's got a sweet sweet too, so so do I. Um, so we'll have a little bit of dessert later, but I'm gonna smash this and then I'll see you guys later. How's it, people? So dinner was good. Um, obviously, like I said, Matt loves Domino's. I literally cannot afford the calories because I don't have that metabolism. Um, I cannot eat that amount of food and still look the way I do. Um, he's got an incredible metabolism and he's able to literally eat anything he wants and still look shredded AF. Um, but yeah, that's all down to genetics. Some of us are gifted in that sense, others aren't. Um, however, I'm not going to let Matt down. I know he loves a dessert. He never ever just finishes with dinner. So Matt doesn't have a specific go-to dessert. He usually messes around with ice cream. Uh, he likes cookies and stuff like that as well. So I've just gone and I've played it safe, something that I enjoy. I have made myself a chocolate brownie using whey protein. So it's over here. Um, I'll show you the recipe or I'll put the recipe in the description. You won't believe how easy it is to make. It literally takes you one minute. Um, and accompanying that, I thought, you know, Matt does like ice cream. So let me not, you know, fail him now. So I've smashed, I'm going to smash this as well. Probably put it in my, in my brownie to be fair. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the end of the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, Matt's obviously, like I said, a big influence on me in terms of starting YouTube. So, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to him. I don't think you'll ever see this video. If he does, 
it'll be amazing um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you did please hit the like button and please press the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one cheers guys